Jennifer and Patrick really didn't get along at all. Mm. So there was a love scene written between their two characters in Red Dawn. Mm. And Patrick was really against doing it. And for mm. for a few reasons. I think one, you know, he probably didn't get on with her too well, but also he's like, listen, we're we're running from Russians for our lives. We're gonna stop here and, and screw under a tree real quick, right? Mm -hmm. So like, maybe this doesn't work. It was a big scene for her, five page character development scene that she really wanted to do. And he kind of fought for shooting it down, which he ended up winning. The two of them didn't really speak the rest of the show, which is a you know, another three, four weeks of filming. Could you imagine two years later, this little project, Dirty Dancing, comes around? Oh, She's cast my first. Gosh. Right. She's cast oh, first. Oh, man. They spend, you know, months and months looking for Johnny, mm -hmm. going to every city. And finally, they call her up. I don't know. Congratulations. We found your partner. <laughs> In fact, you've worked with him. He's your friend. Oh, my Patrick God. Patrick Swayze. Um, I ended up acting and doing a lot of roles as a kid that were sort of a little more active. Like I would get cat. I did a Kool-Aid commercial cause I could ride the horse, right? you know, that type of stuff. So, um, I went into, my father picked me up at school and said, we're going to go meet this guy named Steven Spielberg. I never heard of him. And, uh, he handed me a pack of cigarettes and he said, figure out how to light that. And he, and I had a pack of matches and I'm, you know, struggling to light this cigarette all the way down to go meet Spielberg. And we walk into the casting office and there's like five other guys that look just like John Stamos. And I was thinking, Jesus, we gotta go because there's no chance in hell I'm gonna get this. And he said, just wait, just wait. And they went out one by one and I was the last one to go in and I walked in and there was Steven and I was in the lights and you know, Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall, the producers of Raiders and Marcy Learoff, casting director. And Steven starts asking me some questions and he was, you know, looking for somebody that could maybe handle the bike a little better than the other actors. So he didn't mm -hmm. have to always cut away from them. And um, for some reason at the time, it was important to Steven that this character smoked cigarettes. Well, that's how you knew the tough kids. 1981. Like Kelly Leak and stuff. Like yeah, a pack right. of cigarettes rolled up in the sleeve. Now we wear a patch. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Right. All the tough kids wear the patch. Right? Yeah. Uh, he asked me how I you know, felt about smoking a cigarette. So, of course, I'm 12, 13, and I, I pull out a rumpled pack of Marlboros, and I stick this cigarette in my mouth that does a direct 90 degree turn because it's broken in half and I'm striking that match over and I was like alright kid you got the part so that's how that went down mm. and I was in uh, I was in ET and, and at the time again I had no idea I wasn't my family weren't actors you know it was just kind of a hey take it while you can type of thing <laughs> 